I'm choppy. Hmm. Huh. I think it's YouTube or my I'm choppy. Playback speed, normal. Hmm. Why does it look so blurry? Oh boy. Think. Hmm. It looks terrible. I don't, I don't understand why. Hmm. I'm going to reboot. Be right back. Oh, wait a minute.
stream. Let me see if you guys are seeing anything. Okay, here it's a little better. I had to reboot. Okay. I think it's my camera doesn't like changing when there's two cameras hooked up. <laughs> Can't blame it. Um, okay, so I am going to do some pen work. Thank you. <laughs> so I guess I can't use the two uh, cameras on YouTube through my <laughs> laptop. Because it just doesn't want to work. So I can just, this is just a... Uh, Point four. What are these? Uh, hybrid Tecanica Pentel. Don't know if you can see that. I love these pens. So I'm just going to do some pen work here, and I know there's all these little stamens popping out of here. They kind of stand high on these plants. And there's a whole slew of them. So you can crisscross them. Make some a little taller than others. And then they have these little knobbies on the ends. They're kind of oval shape. Like that. We'll have a bunch of these popping up. These are so cool and they last forever. I've never had a flower bloom so long in a garden. And the bees just love them. Like that and this one. Like that. And then these. Not a whole lot I want to do in here. Maybe just darken kind of in between the, the little cups. There's darker areas in there in between. There's all these little flower um, sections. So you just put a bunch of little marks where they meet. So it'll be a little darker in there, a little bit shading, I guess you could say. Giving it a little more dimension by doing this. Okay. Uh, let me lighten that a little bit. Yeah. 
And I'll just put in a few stems there while I'm at it. Just to show where those are. A little bit longer. This is totally up to you how much detail you want. I like detail, as you know. So play with it. This is how you find out what you like. Probably getting tired of me saying that. <laughs> it's true. You have to play. And best place in your sketchbook. Just a little bit of line work. Does a lot to emphasize stuff. Now I won't put all of the uh, shadows around all of it, but some of it I will. Or I want it to. Um, Be more noticeable, I guess. You might see a little bit more shadow there just to show the division of the leaf. My garden pull, gardener pulled out a load of these pink ones up today. They have taken over. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, you gotta use what you like. Um, some people like a ton of them. I always say, if you don't like it, pull it out. Give it to someone else that would appreciate it. I don't like to throw out anything, but Anything that's not growing the way I want or um, just not happy with the way it's growing, and then I'll usually give it to one of my um, kids and they like it. So is the weather nice for you now, Dot? 
you people in the UK had a horrible amount of heat that you're not used to. That must have been hard for you. We've had a very, very hot time here, too. Um, problem with what we're facing is the uh, drought. It's so, so dry. It's too dry. So our leaves on our trees are not turning color. They're dying because they don't have any rain. And that's not good. I'm just going to put some shadowed areas in here of the uh, petals. Some of these would be darker. This is a very dark, dark, dark um, flower. So we may as well put some of those in. Show that. Yes, it's better now. Very autumn. Yeah. Yeah, you were. And you guys aren't used to that. So you didn't have the uh, air conditioners and stuff like that, which is, must have been horrible. I can remember when I was a kid, we didn't have air conditioning. It was very, very, very sweaty. Just making up some lines in here just to show the kind of the petals how they would be going. There would be a little bit of um, darker sections shadowed underneath the petals, some of them. Put a bit of that in. This one here, too. I'm just Doesn't have to be a lot. Um, sometimes just a little bit of ink is better than a whole bunch. I'm just gonna flick a little bit of this just to make the very tops of this a little more fuzzy here and there. And I'm just trying to be as light as possible. I don't want a thick line. And there, um, there's no stamens. It's more or less the tops of the petal that are kind of fuzzy looking. So they get, it's almost like a little crown they look like. That. And then these, you can do the same thing. So follow some of the areas where you think the petals would be and put those in. Underneath mostly. It just gives it a little bit more shading 
definition. You could go in with um, a white pencil and put highlights on here, too. Trying to keep my hand out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. Just gives that extra little bit of detail I like. You don't have to do the whole thing either. Um, just do bits where you think the main petals would be just let the back ones stay faded. one. This one would have a little bit more petaled facing me. That. Um, it is nice that things are back to normal after the funeral yesterday. I watched the whole thing. Oh, really? It was, it was a long day. Um, these kind of have like little it's hard to explain. Um, kind of like little Scales, I guess they remind me of fish scales, but I don't want to put them all in like that. So I'm just doing a suggestion of scales. more or less dots and then the other ones we can just like the little um, buds just put a few little marks showing that they kind of sit up before they bloom in this little cup. So we'll just put some of those in. That. And then just a little bit of uh, line work here and there. I'm not going to put 
it all in. You could go in and, and do all of this um, shading. But I'm just going to more or less do a uh, sketchy look. Maybe the bigger leaves I'll just put a little bit of shadowing in there. But I don't think it's really needed it. So I think it um, pretty well works on its own. Just a few lines, not straight lines. So you don't want to, say, put a straight line from top to bottom because there's too many leaves in between. And so you kind of have to just play with it a little bit. It does help to put a few lines in there. Just they're they're kind of sticky looking actually very um, linear not soft looking mm. so you kind of want to indicate that too That's pretty good. Mm. Ah, finished touches makes them realistic. Great tip. Yeah, just a little bit here and there. Like just does it makes the difference. Doesn't have to be a lot either. It's just a bit. Sometimes to bring your eye around the page um, or just emphasize something. And it doesn't have to be uh, right on the um, colored line either. A lot of times I like going off the line just because it uh, gives it a bit of character. All right. I think that's pretty well it. I don't think it needs anything else. That's about it. What do you guys think? Does it look done. Then I could write something in here or here with about it. Um, hey, but summer twenty two. This could be fall twenty two. Um, there, I just have the name. Well, I could have put um, color swatches in here too, or down here. I don't think I will with this one, but you could um, get a piece of watercolor paper and write it down and then just have it stapled on here or sew it onto the side. That would also look really awesome. All different ways of, of um, playing with it. All 
All right, so I think it's done. So today is the 920. So 2022. And I think that's it. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'll see if I can <laughs> attach both videos or I'll put part two or part one on the videos. All right, so get your sketchbooks out, document whatever you want. Uh, you could do your day like I did here. That was fun. I will probably do another one of these for fall or September. And um, yeah. Have a good one, and we'll see you on Thursday. I have some happy mail to show, and we'll probably be doing uh, an acrylic painting. So I'll probably be posting the drawing of it beforehand so you can paint along. So have a fantastic day, everybody. Bye for now.